oh. Cap spun the block, hopping out the whip with the strap and okay, trying to man. catch some oh, black. Damn, who? Mr. Crawford then fired into the house. Respect that shit, Hollywood. That's why I tell females, y'all gotta watch that shit. That nigga no cap pulled up. He said, y'all messing with my whose sister? Shorty must have pulled up. Skirt! Hopped out. Blah, blah. He blicking up cribs behind this sister. No bap. These exotic boys. Smoke exotic out. You ain't heard about murder boys. We got exotic glocks. Tied to pull up real fast. With a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac. I got a lot of guap. Hola, mula gang. How are you doing today, mi amigo? I'm doing all right. Fine. Muy bien. <laughs> Do I look Mexican? Niggas always telling me I look Mexican, folks. Do I look a little on all stress? What y'all think, folks? Let me know something. What y'all on, though? Hope everybody decent. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, follow your boy on the gram if you ain't already. Skate, what you doing, folks? Hurry up and smash them. Law for real though, check it out. Go in the description right now. Shop Dayari, 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 Dayari US right now. D E I A R I dot US. Link is in the description. Get your pre orders in right now. The shop is open right now. Don't tweak, don't sleep. Get it in on Photon Gray. Two of the hardest, hardest, hardest designs. And we got velvet pants coming. Come on, Ski. Don't play with me, Ski. Yeah, we doing it bigger than big every day, all day. So make sure y'all copy your merch before it sell out. We about halfway sold out. So, uh, yeah, don't sleep. Hold on, Gray, Ski. Two artists that I'm... Wow, wow, wow. Damn, you are not playing. Artists, um, a little dude named Rallo. Mm -hmm. And another one ain't no cap. So I guess at one point, Lil Baby signed you or, or no? Nah, I, I, ain't, I didn't sign a Lil Baby. Cow though, like cow, cow silent, cow real, you know. But Rilo, we, you know, he rap, he got good music and shit like that. But he be too many racks, like you know. Hey, yo, squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know hood dudes and fame seem to be a bad combination because once success comes into play, man. for some reason, the bonds Damn just fall baby. apart. No Fuck cap and little baby was doing their thing and taking over the industry, but things went sour, and then it's all been the hell since. This beef between No Cap and Lil Baby really shows how easy one miscommunication one. sparks into a whole beef between camps. What, now everybody and their mama what, on smoke. What? NBA and No Cap against 4PF. And what's wild, now No Cap ain't messing with NBA. Something right. so good just went all up in the fire. But what the hell happened? You already know we're going to give it to y'all. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Rap been touching base everywhere. No wonder it's the most popular genre out. In Mobile, Alabama, been bringing rappers like No Cap and Rallo Rodriguez, also oh, known as Rallo. Both, so hard, Both been locked up since the even high school days, hitting the studio together, working on their music and coming up. I had a studio in my apartment, and I think Cap was still in high school. I think he was probably 16 years old when I first seen him. And he came with Rallo, and I already been working with Rallo for a minute. But when I seen Cap, I was like, so they bro, kind of like, yeah. really got their drive and he got like. They moved like brothers, putting up. in the work in the streets and on beats, climbing the ladder to success. Okay. But oh, soon, that, uh, yeah. all of that was about to change when Little Baby that, came yeah, into the get picture. That, get back, baby yeah, was get building that, his yeah. buzz too in Atlanta, and a dude named Mike, who was cool with Rallo, brought him to the studio to get the feature from Little Baby for 1K. Okay. They ended up knocking out two songs instead, and Baby clicked with Bro, and from then on, they started rocking. So he paid Baby for, he paid Baby a thousand dollars for a feature. That's crazy. Brought him to the studio to get the feature from Lil Baby for 1K. They ended up knocking out two songs instead, and Baby clicked with Bro, and from crazy. then on, they started rocking. Actually, Rallo discovered me in a sense. When he first started rapping, when I wanted like $1,000 for a feature, a dude named Mike brought Rallo to the studio, and he bought a feature from me for $1,000. But I liked his swag, so we ended up doing two songs. We did the two songs, I ended up getting his number in front of that day, we just... Rallo and Cap rolled together, so once Rallo and Baby good, then Cap automatically linked up too after Baby heard how hard he was. At what point did Lil Baby start coming around? Um, he was already my partner Rallo, 
and he um they was they was kicking it for a minute. Yeah. And baby just had he had heard one of my songs. That's why he had wrote me like um let me um get on. So I sent him the song. The three of them was on the rise, and they was looking like the big three with LeBron, D. Wade, and Bosh. <laughs> Lil Baby career started taking off, so he kept it 100 like he said he would and started pushing Rollo and Cap 2. They started working on music together, but it would never see the light of day. Lil Baby getting bigger and created his own label 4PF also known as Four Pockets Full aka 40 People Foundation that stands for Four Pockets Full mm -hmm. but legally it's like 40 People Foundation he featured Cap on the song Reality the yeah, Dreams and Rollo yeah, on No bro, Friends was, on his yeah. 2018 that album Street Gossip around that time man. the song was put what? together Cap ended up behind no, bars so it was a good no, look keeping his name buzzing while locked he had the song, and then while I'm in jail, my brother ended up calling me like, um, baby had got my song for you, or whatever, he was playing it on his live. I'm like, let me hear it. I'm, I'm like, let me hear it through the jail phone. I'm like, let me hear it. So I'm hearing it, but I really can't. I can't really hear it. It looked like they were going to get signed, especially since Lil Baby said so on his Breakfast Club interview. Two artists that, I'm, that I signed, like two of my artists. Two Damn, you were not playing. A little dude named Rollo, mm -hmm. and another one ain't no cap, man. But no cap denied that in the Vlad interview, saying he ain't signed to no one and is independent. So I guess at one point, Lil Baby signed you, or, or no? Nah, I, I, ain't, I didn't sign to Lil Baby. Turns out Baby did another interview where he said at the time he was pushing them, he didn't have the money to drop a bag on them, but if right. they held it down, once he got big, he was going to keep his promise. Right, right. And he ended up signing Rollo and dropping 150 bands on him for staying under the label. I don't could have signed with anybody for money. Right. You was on and a lot of niggas, real quick, a lot of niggas get that but confused. Just because I signed, you could have signed to another nigga for money, so that's why I'm going to hold it down. I get what Baby's saying. But you can sign to a nigga that give you a million dollars and it don't turn into nothing because you just now you just owe a nigga a million dollars. Or you can sign to a nigga that's going to push you for real. He, he might give you 150K on the back end, but I'm sure I can pretty much guarantee that by the time he gave him 150, Rollo was already seeing 150 multiple times a year. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure Rollo was damn near a millionaire before he gave him 150. You know what I'm saying? Or at least getting to that point. You get what I'm saying? So... It ain't like baby was just had him around broke, no change, no nothing. Like you feel me? That wasn't that was going on. I'm just saying, baby. And I was rapping like that, so I'm definitely ain't giving nigga my money. Right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know how that go. Right. right. I'm saying like, f like give you my money or invest in my money. You like I'm telling you, straight up. I don't know. I'm like, bro, I don't even know how to. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like you run with me, like you my artist. I'm gonna figure it out. Like, yeah. But gonna I'm gonna figure it out. out. Right. We all figure it out together. I guess no cap just wasn't up for taking that chance in one of his racks for sure. And I can't really blame him after so many rappers was getting screwed over. Still, it appeared that they were real enough to not get into it over that. No cap was still cello with Rollo after him signing. You could see Rollo rocking the 4PF chain while they was kicking it. In September 8th, 2019, news would hit the net of the cops looking for no cap in relation to a situation where he pulled up at a house and up the pole sending residents scattering. Asking for your help to find a local rapper they say was a subject of this week's Fox 10 News Fugitive Files. Yeah, they say he shot up a house and there were people inside when he did it. Our Steve Alexander standing by live in the newsroom with more on the shooting and the rapper No Cap. Hi, Steve. And police say they are still looking for Kobe Crawford, and he is the man known as No Cap. No Cap's sister they, had they, an they altercation with somebody and phoned for Cap to pull up with the Thule tools. Oh. Cap spun the block, hopping out the whip with the strap no and trying to catch some black. That who? Mr. Crawford then fired into the house. Um, <laughs> Respect that homie, but that's why I tell females y'all gotta watch that. Shit. That nigga No Cap pulled up. He said, Y'all messing with my whose sister? Shorty must have pulled up. Skirt! Hopped out, blah, blah. He blicking up cribs behind this sister, no bap. But that's why females gotta gotta be careful with that shit, boy. You can't be eat quick to call your brother your daddy because it's in us. We gonna crash out every time. Like any girl I really fuck with for real, like we don't even, I swear to God, bro, I don't even gotta love her. If I just rock with her and I fuck with her and I don't look at her as like no straight, just throwaway slut. Boy, I'm my dead homie. Touch her if you want to, boy. I'm gonna you in this. Shit. They gonna have to pull me off you dead serious, bro. Like, you feel me? Sister, mom, I don't got no sisters, but 
any female I ever loved, my mama, auntie, grandma, anybody on falling grade. And it ain't even just females too, like anybody. I, I'm just like that with my that I feel like they can't protect themselves. You know what I am? Like I don't like that. Shit. You you doing you you talking crazy or you doing something crazy to my sister because you know she can't beat your ass. But I can. Keep talking about. And then he fled with his sister. No cap turned himself in after dropping off the track first day in. He was taken in and charged along with his sister with discharging into an occupied police building police and police reckless police. endangerment. Police also say Kobe they have Crawford. arrested Kobe Crawford's sister, who they say drove away from the scene with him. Brianna Crawford is charged with shitting into an occupied dwelling. This is where the ref really hyped up between no cap and little baby. Word on the street is Cap was trying to reach out to Lil Baby to squash things, but Baby was ignoring his calls. Uh. This only pushed No Cap closer to a team that he was mm. also cool with, NBA uh. Youngboy and them, eventually right. signing to the label in 2019. This became even more public when YB dropped off the track out of his safe. Just not, even, just not even off of just how I peep and how I see and move, like from the outside looking in, I would much rather sign with a nigga like Baby than Youngboy. Youngboy be tweaking. He be in the blogs, he be having drama, all that. You don't really see baby in that. And that tell me a lot about a nigga, like, you know, like young boy younger. You feel me? He might not be like that no more for real, but like he was younger. He more into the drama. He more into the gonna get on live and go back and forth with niggas and you feel me, yelling at the screen. I ain't never really seen baby do that ever. So that tell me a lot about a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That tell me more like, okay, he about his business. He gonna really handle his shit. You feel me? If you don't see baby getting locked up, in trouble, in business, people talking crazy, rumors, all that. If it do, it be about a girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, I don't know why he, I don't know what pushed him. My question is, what pushed you to sign with young boy at that time if you didn't want to sign with baby? And, you know, so I don't know, but like I said, I'm outside looking in. And no cap in Quando Rondo while he was locked up. Things were about to get a whole lot more heated between No Cap and Lil Baby. He was released from jail in November 2019, but he was picked back up in December. It seemed like Cap couldn't catch a break. He was back out, but reports would hit the net saying he violated his probation and he was again about to be behind bars. No Cap confirmed the situation posting to fans that he had 30 days to turn himself in and he did. He would spend seven months behind bars seven before months. being released in July 2021. Okay. He was right back oh, into the funk. By this time, his ties with Lil Baby had been severed, but it wasn't known to the public. That's until an account online posted a Lil Baby family tree with No Cap underneath one of the branches. No Cap reposted the pic with a huge X over the tree, no tree with the caption, ain't no tree. And from there, it was up. A 4PF affiliate named Cold Hearted Savage hopped in right quick, clowning Cap, and had backing from other 4PF affiliates in the comments. I used to see this nigga. I used to see, no I see tree. this nigga a few times. There it because in Atlanta, on Oakland City, like I used to be right next to where like some 4PF niggas pull up. I seen him before, and I seen uh, another nigga. Little, like, little small, skinny nigga. He like brown skin. Real skinny. I don't know. If, I don't know his name. He's some. I, they be, he be 4 PF though. He got 4 PF in his name. I'm sure niggas have seen this. But seen him. It was up. A 4 PF affiliate named Cold Hearted Savage hopped in right quick, clowning Cap and had backing from other 4 PF affiliates in the comments. The online shenanigans saw its moment to shine, and dudes got to it and got back at it online, going back and forth. 4 PF <laughs> wanting to smash No Cap and No Cap calling 4 PF kitties so and good. promising to catch him first. Cold hearted savage ain't like that and went on to make post banning no cap from coming to the A with the caption, he can't come back to Atlanta, he on punishment. We'll take a ninja jury on some funny ish. Who told bro to say that though? That this summoned up the beef god, YB, to the chat. No cap said F him, YB manager said anybody that get out of line, they gonna take care of business, and YB came through sliding saying F them all. Things went from zero to a hundred real quick. Rollo over there now like, no. <laughs> no. His bro ain't trying to beef with his day one, so he cleared the air one time posting that it ain't no beef, but still show respect to 4PF, a smooth move. No cap and him really bros for real because yeah. Cap responded showing love to Rollo same way. But still let it be known that for anybody else that was around him, it smoked like a chimney. Outside of them, <laughs> things love, escalated with the other around. members of their camps. Dudes from No Cap's camp shut baby music down in the club they went to. I see the man when they playing baby because the 
was out, oh, out. Now the response from Baby's oh. team hurt no cap hard because it was his own homie that was now 4PF that came and was dissing his camp. The dude was Project Baby Juicehead. I don't know where these names be coming from, bro. He not only stood on 4PF, but disrespected no cap entire block 1600. No cap been standing solid no matter what, saying he NBA 1600 on an unreleased track named I Hope You Agree. No cap raps about how he felt when he seen Juice switch sides. Juice was tight with both Cap and Rollo. Yeah. They've been in pics and vids together going way back. Right. Lil Baby would comment in support of Juice vid dissing Cap and them, and No Cap commented saying, what type of snake shit is this? Side note, trench facts, I found some exclusive details on Juice, so here you go. Remember the gruesome Merkin of Alabama rapper Honeycomb Brazy grandparents? Juice was one of them that was arrested for the hit. Well, he was also one of the day one homies with Honeycomb Brazy, and his conscience was eating him alive for what he did and messaged Brazy apologizing, and they trying to say he didn't know that they was on that type of time and they used him. Honeycomb Brazy posted the message online saying that he ain't trying to hear it. It's What's worse is Brazy- my dog Granny them used to feed both us in that cell too. I know I know you knew. I don't know what they got going on, but I'm gonna tell y'all something like it just be a lot of unnecessary shit. Like the posting messages and the, all this shit just be lame, bro. It's just lame, bro. We grown as hell. We street these supposed to be street niggas, bro. We supposed to be in the streets, bro. You feel me? We supposed to be come from some type of ghetto, some type of street, some type of hood. If you weren't from any any of that side, even if you was a duck goofy in the hood, you feel me? I don't care who you is, any type of hood, like, you feel me? Everybody from the streets sometimes, some way, bro. It ain't that many niggas that never robbed a nigga. It ain't that many niggas. I mean, it is, but, like, from the hood, like, you did some illegal, shorty. You made some illegal money. You did some type of street shit, You feel me? So, like, the fact that we posting pictures and posting captions and posting comments and got going back and forth about some serious shit, like, and switch all that, come on, gang, like, it, don't even, it ain't even that, that ain't even, it ain't about no money, I ain't hear nobody get smoked, none of that, not on these sides, that you feel These same grandmoms used to feed on. Juice, too, and that's grimy, so it seemed like Juice is a backdoor demon for the money and fame, mm. no cap homie 1600 Lil Joe did an interview speaking on Juice, and you could hear the disappointment in his voice, because they was all boys for real, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I swear to God, like, Man, juice, like, no, nah, no, nah, nah, I had love juice, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, really ain't mean, like, he ain't really mean to do that shit, you feel me? Like, Here's another trench fact. Lil Joe got poked up in jail and honeycomb and no cap fell out over it because cap thought that Brazy was the one that had put the hit out. I, I f with cap, but you know, it's a little incident, how, you know, hit people, I got knocked out in the county jail, you know, and they said. So, 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 so. The nigga Juice, when he when Juice was cool, when Juice was cool with Cap, and he was in a county jail, but Juice was in a county jail for this nigga grandma. It's I shit. seen hey, that he home, but I don't know how he feeling for real. But I f with Cap though, like Lil Joe got poked up nine to ten times, nearly losing his eye and his life. I got bad. Hey. That's him. I got. Two so this is all this another nigga, so it wasn't you. Like three times, four times, little pill. My eye, my thigh, got that nine times. Hey, hey. Yeah, they were trying to take me out there, there like. No cap and Rollo been tight with Lil Joe, and it seems like he a banger for real. They mention bros antics in a lot of their tracks. Why the f the Joe be shooting with no rim? Oh yeah, I heard Lil Joe. Lil Joe though he getting rich in the gym. The beef was getting farther out of hand because it was so messed up that No Cap and Rollo was not able to put out music together. Responded to a fan, No Cap said that they ain't drop music because Lil Baby won't clear the songs with Rollo. You could tell him and Rollo ain't like having to be so distant. Rollo dropped the track Letter to Cap speaking on missing his dog and reminiscing on their come up. Like, can I tell you that I lay a 1600 times? I miss you and I know you missing me, Cap. Oh, man, I miss my dog. In night club, I've been midnight with we not even like, bro, what? Come on, bro. Then niggas don't even be, they don't even be, we ain't even like, bro. It ain't even because you in jail or because you, you feel me, somebody died, bro. We just into it over some goofy shit, over some label shit. Like, 
What the fuck? I feel up, though. Like, that's my damn Blowing streets, man, now you hustling. By this time, too many people was back in the beef. This track yeah. was flying left and right every which away. Baby and 4PF remixed the Dreams to Reality track Baby and Cap did as a diss. From there, Baby kept coming with more and more disses. He don't have money. He can't come to the A, he don't punish me. Catch that boy out of place, he gon' punish him. Take his chain and his watch on some funny no cap ain't no sucker and came at baby also, neck was, with his own disses using baby's own words against him NBA was back in cap 100% YB came at baby in them neck on his song I hate young boy and Quando Rondo got on clubhouse ready for smoke with 4PF affiliates like Dirty Tay it was smoke upon smoke upon smoke things went nuclear silent for a while with the beef but cap made it known he was still on demon time when he slid in little baby bmj to shave his comments with the googly eyes after she announced she's single but the reason for that silence from why being them in the beef soon became known plot twist they too was beefing with no cap in a shocking turn of events yb went off online on no cap disrespecting that man and speaking down on him like he's just the son that he's scolding the YB stands would dig up old posts from No Cap of him talking down on YB, sending YB into a deeper craze. Bro was just going off. No Cap finally got a chance to say something and responded to the disrespect but handled it cool. According to Cap, YB been moving snaky with him and he tried to still keep it private and hold things down, especially with YB's legal issues and being locked. Turns out the riff was also fueled with another two incidents. A fan told No Cap he should do more music with YB and he responded saying let him blow up on his own first because he don't want nobody saying that YB was the reason. A fair answer, but YB felt some type of way about it. The next incident was when the blog started posting that Cap oh dissed Dirk. God, Around that bro. time, Come YB on, and bro. Dirk been going head to head beefing. Cap responded saying he got nothing against Dirk and dispelled rumors of dissing him. That's why YB posted his diss response to Cap. This entire thing has gotten out of hand and No Cap is at the center of the pressure. He's a dope artist with a fan base that can carry him independently. The problem is getting out of this contract so he can do his thing and sign to a major label where he can grow even further. A simple communication between him and Lil Baby could solve all this. Sometimes dudes need to just let that ego go and put the pride aside and talk because they was all cool at one point so they should be able to get to a level head especially if ain't nobody lose their life. Last April, No Cap Nobody dropped his debut life. on the NBA label, Mr. Crawford. Then in December, he dropped his second NBA label project, The Main Bird. At least he can still release music and him and Rollo continue to be brothers. So that's one positive made, in all of this. They made some songs together too. Hey man, all that shit unnecessary for. If I was telling nigga ass, man, listen man. Y'all know how much money everybody would get if y'all made a song together? No Cap, uh, Rollo. Lil Baby and Young Boy all back to back on some 5,500 degrees. Shit. You know how that they go triple million platinum, especially in the streets. That motherfucker got. Shit. They ain't even made none of us. Got that's gonna go on the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Dirk and Young Boy on a back and forth game. Well, Dirk and Young Boy, they 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 is kind of too far gone for them. But I'm just saying, what if? You know what I'm saying? What if, folks? What if niggas did squash the beef and, and made a song? You feel me? Like, yeah, we ain't finna be kicking in this shit, nigga, but we gonna push some peace, bro. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna be decent, and everybody gonna be smooth. Everybody drop the ego. Yeah. And young boy and Dirk song would go crazy. I've been waiting for that shit my whole life, but I, bro, bro. Come on, bro. Since I fuck with, I fuck with Dirk the long way. I rock with young boy music, like bro. If them niggas can make a song, I wanna hear some no auto shit, and I wanna hear some some singing. I want a whole album, please. Can y'all figure that out, Ski? Please, folks. Somebody do that AI or something.